Shifting gears a bit, when it comes to South Korea and content, people mainly think of what's been exported. But now the Korean market is becoming a prime place for overseas companies looking to be the ones exporting. Both sides are gathering at Asia's largest broadcasting and video market, which kicked off today in Seoul. Our culture correspondent Song Yujin reports. We're living in a world overflowing with content, from movies and TV shows to streaming originals. In this vast sea, the demand for Korean content is at an all-time high, as Emmy-winning actor Lee Jung-jae, known for Netflix's Squid Game and The Acolyte on Disney+, Plus, puts it. When I walk into a hotel abroad, staff who recognize me no longer just mention Squid Game, but ask about the latest Korean dramas, movies, or variety shows sometimes ones I haven't even seen yet. On set, it's even more intense with questions about directors, writers and actors. The global rise of K-content is driven by talented content creators, but it's equally important to have platforms that bring their work to the world. This is where Broadcast Worldwide, or BCWW, plays a leading role. So this year's Broadcast Worldwide, also known as the International Broadcasting and Video Market, is the largest in scale in its 24-year history. Now this year, more than 270 companies from 13 countries have gathered here in Seoul to discuss potential business opportunities. After a COVID-19 hiatus, we held the event in person last year, securing over $80 million in contracts. With more global buyers here this year, we expect even better results. For K-Content, BCWW is a gateway to the global stage. This production company won the grand prize at this year's BCWW New Media Content Awards for its 2023 drama, Not Others, which has been exported to the Americas, Europe and Japan. We participate in BCWW every year to showcase our dramas to overseas buyers. The event has been instrumental in helping Korean dramas expand beyond domestic audiences and reach international markets. For overseas companies, it's an opportunity to break into the Korean market. This content distribution company based in Istanbul recently signed a deal to release one of its movies in Korean theaters by 2025. They're hoping to land more deals at this event. And this will also open some doors for us to for further licensing um, because you know first if a content has never been licensed in a region then the broadcasters can be a little bit i mean can't hesitate a little bit to invest on that project providing an opportunity for both domestic and overseas content to broadcast worldwide bcww 2024 runs until thursday Song Yujin, Arirang News.